Yes, Mr. Speaker, thank you. We have a, a couple of introductions, uh, several introductions actually, uh, and I'd like to begin, if you could, by calling on Mr. Ramos. Today I proudly rising for this introduction because I have a distinguished group of leaders from our community. Um, and I take this opportunity also to make the New York State Assembly aware of some things that are happening, historic things that are happening on Long Island. Uh, I would like to start uh, with mentioning the fact that approximately 11 years ago when I was elected, it was a very lonely place for a Hispanic elected official on Long Island. Uh, that has changed. In the course uh, in the course of 11 years, the community uh, involvement, the civic consciousness has changed, and year after year we're seeing history made and, and uh, new leaders arising. This year, we have with us uh, several people who now have uh, come into office, and many of them come from my community. And I would like to start off with uh, introducing a person who was elected as the first Salvadorian woman elected in all of New York State, and that is Suffolk County Legislator Monica Martinez. And we have the first uh, elected official of Haitian descent elected this year in Suffolk County, and that is Valerie Cartwright, Councilwoman. We, we are accompanied by Suffolk County Legislator Bill Lindsay, Jr. As well as Suffolk County Legislator Stephen Stern. And I'm also proud to say that this sounds so sweet to say this, but we are accompanied by Deputy Mayor Carmen Pinero of Dominican descent. somewhere around here. <laughs> we are also accompanied by the ISA, uh, Town of ISA Committee, Jerry Pallada, and the rest of the committee. Uh, we are accompanied by the Board of Education of the Brentwood Schools, Anna Martinez, Helen Morse, Robert Feliciano, and Paula Moore. Please stand. We are accompanied by the Haitian uh, American Association, President Astrid Fidelia and its members. We are accompanied by the Salvadorian American Chamber of Commerce, Dimas Escobar and uh, Vanessa Gonzalez. Dimas is the president. We have Shirley Coverdale, chairwoman of the Suffolk County Black Brown Alliance here. We have Sean Collins from the Bayshore Beautification Society. Mary, Mary Emanuel Garcy, director of Haitian Americans Families of Long Island. We, from the MDQ Mosque in Bayshore, Vilma Santos. From the Long Island Latino uh, Teachers Association, Roger De Los Santos. From the Dominican Association and the Moncioneros Alcente, Julio Paulino. United Mortgage Bankers, Don Giorgio. And we have the President of Haitian Americans for Change, Ketley Crispin. Mr. Speaker. This, after reading this long list of distinguished leaders in my community, I ask you to please extend them all the privileges of the House and extend them a warm welcome. Certainly. On behalf of, on behalf of uh, Assemblyman Ramos, the Speaker, and all the members, we welcome you here to the New York State Assembly. We provide for you the privileges of the floor. We are happy to see that Suffolk County is growing and changing and expanding and becoming a, big, a place that is friendly and helpful to all of its members. Thank you so much for that. And for the elected officials, welcome to the club. Thank you so very much. <laughs>